Dude, that's silly. The other day, somehow, the, like, tilt thing turned off, and I was, like, watching porn, and I was, I was just like, what the fuck? What is going on? Like, I... And dude, watching porn with just like that screen yeah. sucks balls. Like still better than fucking Oh I Woods it, porn. <laughs> no, I mean it's still better than your imagination. I don't know. My friend tried to go, Your imagine what about your fucking imagination, man? He was like, What am I insulting seven? people? Yeah, I know. But what what about technology and fucking uh, uh, the evolution of the human mind? Like well, why the fuck would I bother to imagine anything? If you were going to buy a piece of technology to fuck, mm. would you buy something that doesn't resemble a woman really at all, but, like, feels amazing, or something that feels less amazing that does resemble a woman? Like, oh, would well, you like to fuck just, like, a, a fuck woman? bot or, like, a, <laughs> or a woman f- robot? Or a woman. You just asked me the difference between a fuck bot and a woman. Well, I mean, a I robot that a woman. looks like a woman. I would really? choose the, Yes. Ugh. I feel like I would want to, like, it's kind of like in, uh... I just really just like... In Silence of the Lambs, when they tell uh, the news anchor to say the girl that missing's name because it helps humanize them. Uh Like, I would just be, like, I would just feel so weird looking at a weird, like, still face. I would want a robot that looked like a human I knew and who would not have sex with me. (laughs) What if you wanted a robot... It looked like a human that you knew that you would not have sex with. But something about that robot. I mean, like, put her, like, put her in a cape? I don't know about you, put but Put her in a cape like, and have her scream with the audience? Yeah. But, like, there's things that I would master, that I masturbate to that I wouldn't do in real life. Like, <laughs> I don't know about you. I feel like I'm a different person. <laughs> like, at certain, there's, yeah, like, I draw the line. I have a thing about femme fatales. There's absolutely no fucking way I would uh, I would allow myself to be martyred. <laughs> <laughs> no one masturbates. Did you know to there's that. a thing? There's a thing uh, called executrix porn. There's a women who are plotting to murder you. It's an actual thing. That's kind of hot. There's also giants. You know about fendom, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. Well, wait, financial domination is the most American fetish. Dude. Is the most American kink that of That girl time. I met on Bumble that I hooked up with, like, that's what she does. She does, like, camming she just, and shit people like give, that. Um, and, people like, just give her money? Yeah, like, no, literally she was like, yeah, today a guy gave me 120 bucks just to call him a dumb bitch. <laughs> And like, and he got off on the fact that he was giving away that money, and I was like, "Holy shit, that is." Yeah, there's nuts. a woman. Yeah, yeah. There's a what's her what's her friend? The, the chick from Kink. She just sells nudes. She doesn't do. The chick videos, from Kink. But... Com got forty five thousand dollars. There was a bidding for a, a, a session. And then he gave her the money, and then he never did the session. That would be such a. Cool, he just wanted to give her the money. That would be such a cool fetish. To have. Just Can you like imagine? That's the most disgusting. To gamble, because gambling is a win-win with that. Because you're either losing money, which is going to help you get off, or you're yeah, winning so. money, which is going to give you more money to spend to give you, to help you but get the off. Idea, but the idea behind it is that a woman is controlling you to such an extent that she has the power to destroy you if she chooses to. They should just marry them. <laughs> I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. My like, bitch I, I can understand why that would be hot. But I would never fucking indulge in that fucking fantasy. I almost picked up a woman by saying that, though. But I got bored and left. No, I don't want to get into it. I, <laughs> I said so, I was so drunk and I just said something to this chick at a fucking industrial music show. So you know you're going to run into something like that. Oh, have you fucked And I said something, too. I look, I said, I said when, I'm, when I'm talking to a woman, I'm, I'm looking for a woman who, who will, uh, who will uh, uh, destroy me. I, there's this movie God I can't think of the name of it But if you haven't seen it You would love it It's about like These like Fucking like Goth industrial Kids I think it's like in the 90s And they Meet this Like Kind of like I guess Stray dude That's like Hitting on Both of them And then like They go on an adventure With them I can't even It ends with the The dude getting his dick cut off 
Oh, 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 Doom Generation. Doom Generation, yes. Greg Araki. That's a, yeah. Dude, I he remember made a movie that. called Mysterious, um, uh, not Mysterious Skin. Was that one Skin. of his gay Mysterious movies? Skin. Mysterious Skin is the creepiest gay movie you'll ever fucking see I thought that was life. so funny. I didn't know gay movies were actually a thing until I got that movie and it says... Uh, oh, gay, <laughs> gay film? Yeah. Gay says, lesbian? Well, it says that it, on the, um, Doom Generation, it says a heterosexual film by... Wow. Like, because, I well, mean... I remember in video stores that used to be a section. Like they I, had yeah, a, I never knew that. Before the word LGBT came out. But they... Dude, he made a movie called Mysterious Skin with fucking the guy... Who's the guy that was in the Batman... The last Batman movie? He was that TV show. He's a brick. He's Jonathan, John, whatever. He's huge. He's fucking huge. He, he was in um, uh, Don Juan DeMarco or whatever his name is. Or not Don, you know, Don John or what? Scarlett Johansson. He was in... Um, he was in the last Batman. He played Robin in the last Batman. The kid. He was in Third Rock from the Sun or whatever. Justin Gordon Levitt. Yeah, Jason. Yeah, whatever. So he he's, he's a good this. actor. In my there's opinion. two kids in this movie. There's two kids. This is the guy that same guy that made Doom Generation. There's two kids. Um. Both were kidnapped. Both were molested by their gym coach. One kid completely forgot about the whole thing he believes that there's just a big blank space in his childhood and he thinks he was kidnapped by aliens so he's constantly investigating investigating trying to figure out what happened the other kid knows what happened but he thinks that he and the coach he and the gym teacher had a had an affair so that he, when he was nine or eight years old or whatever it was consensual right so that kid became a prostitute there is a fucking scene in there. And this guy just died. I can't remember his name, but he was in The Untouchables. He's a creepy looking dude. And he um, he has full blown fucking AIDS. Like he has fucking spots all over his fucking body. What, liver spots or whatever? Yeah, the fucking spots. Dude, and there's a scene where it fucking G Gordon Levitt fucks him in the ass with a condom. Like, just to demonstrate how into high risk that behavior was this motherfucker prep. is. That was before prep was it? Just fucking this guy in the ass. And you just see all the fucking spots all over his back. It is the most creepy fucking thing.